Hello, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Shell Monster Story. I just warped to Sandora, and then I just got my boat to sail off to our next destination, which is Pearl Island in Mosswood. And it's really easy to find. It's just right here north of that uh, cave that we went to last time. But, uh, just land here, and boom! There we are. So let's head on into Mosswood. Why not? And check it out. See what's going on here. Ooh, little furry animal guys. This is Lumberjack's Village of Mosswood. It's just a small place. Please enjoy your stay. Oh, well, thank you. Let's uh, look around here. What do we have? Ooh, weapons. I'll buy these off screen. Kind of a shame that they sell nothing of value uh, in that weapon shop. But here, there is something that I do want to buy at the item shop. And it is the hot curry. I just want one hot curry. And at this point, you need to make sure that you have the eye drop, the Dorado comb, the teleport rock, the dragon wing, and the hot curry. And you can find the eye drop in Prickly, the Dorado comb, teleport rock, and dragon wings in Marnley. And here you can find the hot curry. Make sure you have those. It is imperative. This is your final warning. Well, I'll probably warn you again. But this is your final warning as far as right now, as far as I'm concerned. I hear a giant bird called Stormbird lives on Storm Mountain. Logical, yes? Stormbird. The bird that stole me from my family. Hmm. I must travel. Maybe if I keep moving around, I'll run into the people who will remember me. Huh. Well, maybe, Tokyo. Maybe. That tall mountain east of this village is called Storm Mountain. Storms swirl constantly, I hear. So yes, lightning would be a problem. I imagine people climbing it would face lightning bolts and many other hazards. Yeah, I would imagine so, but Storm Mountain and Storm Bird can't possibly be a coincidence. Yeah, you really should buy one. A uh, wood carving, that is, but also a uh, hot curry. The Taylor's Tent, the hold of the old, old woman Tori. When Tori saw what we didn't, that we didn't wear anything, she made clothing for everyone. She said that she enjoyed being here so much she decided to stay permanently. Oh, well, we'll talk to Tori in just a minute. I fabricate wooden dolls and other items from the trees I cut. And we get a stamp card! Awesome. Sweet! Let's look at those wooden dolls real quick. I forgot to talk about those when I was in the item shop. They cost 50,000 gold. But they do auto-revive in battle. They're they're like that, that item in the Wild Arms game. I think it's called the Goat Doll? Or the Scapegoat? Something like that? That uh, that auto-revives. It's, it's, it's an accessory. But it breaks after one use. Hello, I'm Tori the Tailor. Oh, that cute young lady with you. Let me see your full face. You're a doll, young lady. If my granddaughter was alive, she'd be your age. What happened? Well, Stormbird grabbed her when she was a year old. Her name was Sonya, and she was a beautiful baby. We tried to rescue her. My son and his wife went to Storm Mountain, but we never saw them again. That was nine years ago, and I still miss Sonya and everyone else terribly. Here's a pendant that I made that matches the one that Sonya wore. Please look at it. If you find a ten-year-old wearing the same pendant, will you notify me? Oh, young miss? Are you really wearing a very similar pendant? That pendant is yes! C could you be my dear lost Sonya? I don't remember Granny Tori, but Master Dima found me when I was little. He raised me, and Master Dima also gave me the name, Tokyo. Open that pendant! You may find evidence inside of who you really are! Tokyo opened the pendant. Inside, she found a small folded piece of paper. She opened the yellowing paper and read the name someone printed on it. In bold letters, the name written on the paper was unmistakably clear. Name, Sonya. Oh, Granny! S Sonya? Sonya, you're alive! Thank goodness, Sonya! You're still a child, and yet, you've gone through so much. But, everything's okay now. From now on, we'll live together, and I'll take care of you. Uh, what's wrong, Sonya? Aren't you glad you found your granny? No, granny, I mean... I want to live with you right away, granny, but... I have learned some skills and met these people who are involved in something. You see, Shell Dorado's in trouble. They want me to help them find some shells. I must do this. That's why... That's why I must... 
Just wait a little longer! Once we've done what we need to do, I'll return. Okay, Granny? Sonia. No, you're Tokia, right? You've grown into a fine person. I can see that. So take care of yourself, Tokia. I'll be waiting for you. And don't forget, I'm proud to have a grandchild such as you. Thank you, Granny. Oh, so sweet. Tokia, if you're ever in trouble, come to my place anytime. Now, we can talk to the Granny again. Yeah, Tori the Tailor. She will make me an accessory out of the Dragon Wings. 550 pearls, but yes. Yes, yes, yes. You want to buy seven of these accessories. So I'm going to go ahead and get them made up. And uh, what they do is I believe that it increases your defense power by 10 and your speed by 15. I may have those stats uh, swapped, the Dragon Charm. But, uh... Ooh! Out of Protect Oil? Um... Hmm... No, I just want the socks. But there we go, that's what I want! Yeah, I want those socks. So, seven socks. <laughs> so, uh, I probably shouldn't have made the other accessory out of the, dra out of the Dragon Wing, because the Dragon Wing is one of the things that I actually really, really, really need. So I'm gonna have to go back to Marnley and buy another Dragon Wing. But, uh... Yeah, I got seven of those socks. Let's check those out. The reason why I wanted seven... What does that dragon charm do? It raises your attack by ten. But the... But these socks raise your defense by ten and your speed by fifteen. So I want one of those on every single one of my party members. The only person who... Uh, or the, the reason why I did seven is because the power ring. Um, I feel like the ten extra power... Uh, at least for David is better than this extra defense, but the defense for everybody else, especially because my party is full of so many mages, I, these, these Tory socks are amazing. I want them, I want them, I want them for everyone. So anyway, I'm gonna go buy another dragon wing, and I'm gonna meet you back here at Mosswood, uh, before I forget. See you. Okay, well I went and I took care of that, and now I'm going to head east of Mosswood, to head to this little settlement right here to see if I can gather any more information on uh, Storm Mountain and lightning strikes and everything else that's going on there. This is uh, Pearl Island. Kind of a nice name, but weird musical. Give it that at least. So I head on in here so you can talk to him. Huh? Who are you? Did you come here knowing this is Mistress Abel's abode? Huh. You're disturbing my research, so leave at once! David showed the angry woman Colcott's diary. Oh, what's this? Is this really Colcott's notes? What? You want me to read her diary? Hmm, hold on a moment. What? I get it. I understand it mostly. Seems Colcott's prophecy was correct. It says large meteors fell in every land and disasters may be just starting. The biggest proof of the hero of the fire shell appearing in Shell Dorado. Listen, David. Father, also known as Great Gnome, lives in Blizzland. Cross Storm Mountain to reach Blizzland. But the lightning there is deadly. Tori, over in Mosswood, will make you an item to absorb the lightning. To sum it all up, David, something evil is afoot. Please hurry onward. Okay, well, thanks. Spells of the fourth dimension. Laws of continuity. Huh. Well, we can go over here, and we can actually take a shower in here. A normal bath. Oh, well, that's kind of nice, I guess. Okay, but then we'll head down here. Where is it? There it is! Awesome! To get our stamp card! Sweet. So it looks like we have to go back and talk to Tori again. She'll help us get through uh, Storm Mountain. So we'll do that after I raid the house for treasure! What do I get? Ooh, a light bulb. An angel's tear. And the again drop! Very nice, very nice, very nice. Anyway, I'm gonna meet you back at Mosswood, because we gotta talk to Tori. Okay, here we are. Let's talk to her, see what she has anything to say. A lightning rod? I need the Alecki herb for that, but I'm fresh out. It grows in the southeastern forest, but the place is crawling with creepies. Therefore, the harvesters can't resupply me with a new batch of Alecki herb. If you're strong enough, go gather some herbs, and I'll make you a lightning rod. Well, very nice. Okay, so we need to get a lightning rod from the Sarasa Woods, and that is due east of Pearl Island. So I'm going to meet you back at Pearl Island. See you in a second. 
So I'm back at Pearl Island, but I'm not actually going to go into Pearl Island right now. Really, I want to find this forest, but uh, let's see what we got here. Check out this sign real quick. Okay, so we need to go south, and Storm Mountain is northeast. Okay, yeah, Storm Mountain, there's a bridge over there that you can see. Across that bridge, you'll hit Storm Mountain. But right down here is Sarasa Forest. Ooh, who are you? Hi, Slyer. Looks like, uh, some sort of, like, Amazonian Indians or something riding on a lizard. Kind of like Carnage Trigger whenever the, uh, people were riding on lizards back in, like, the dinosaur prehistoric age. It's, uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool, I think. Bada bang! Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom! <laughs> Okay, well, these guys are easy enough. We'll just take care of them, yeah. We're really powerful now. It's kind of pathetic, actually, how powerful we are. But uh, we're going to go exploring Sarasa Forest next time on Let's Play Super Shell Monster Story. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.